Hello! Uh, here we'll continue to work through example 2 from week 3 um, in our continuation of chapter 2 on applications of linear programming problems. Here we're looking at an investment problem. So we just set up our linear programming model in our last screencast. Here I'm going to solve our model using LibreOffice Calc. Um, and remember, you know, while I'll solve in LibreOffice Calc, the solution will be identical if you were to use uh, Microsoft Excel. So to jumpstart uh, my solution, um, we'll go over to my Excel sheet in a second. Um, but what I've done so far in my Excel sheet is just type up uh, this table um, so that I have all of that data already entered. Okay. So I'll scroll down to my um, summary of my linear programming uh, problem, um, which has everything um, nicely summarized to help us uh, set this animal up. Okay, so the first thing I'll go and calculate is I'll calculate um, my uh, total debt ratio for my investment. Um, I'll calculate my um, return due to investment. Um, and then I'll go ahead and I'll uh, calculate in a cell um, my net return of investment, which would be my uh, interest generated minus my bad debt ratio. Okay, so I'm going to calculate first my total bad debt. Okay. And so my total bad debt, and actually let me include that this is in uh, millions of dollars. Okay. okay, so my total bad debt was equal to, um, oh, and let me add a column for um, uh, amount invested, and that's going to be in millions of dollars. Okay. Now remember when I set this up in Excel or LibreOffice Calc, I need to start with initial guesses uh, for the values of my variables. Okay, so I'm going to be uh, very unique and I'll start with uh, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so my total bad debt is equal to the, bad, the sum of the bad debt ratio times the amount invested. Okay, so bad debt ratio times amount invested. Okay, so I think Excel should have a sum prod, um, but just summing them out should be, or writing it all out should be easy enough. Oop. So, let me go back a second. So this should be C6 times D6. So C3, D3, C4, D4, C5, D5, C6, D6, plus C7 times D7. So there's my total bad debt. Okay, let's get our total um, interest return in millions of dollars. Okay, and our total interest return was equal to <clears throat> our interest rate times 1 minus the bad debt ratio times the amount invested. So I'm going to sum over, or perform that calculation and sum over all of our loan types. Bam. Okay, got it. Okay. So then my net return in millions of dollars. Okay, the quantity that I want to uh, maximize is equal to uh, my total investment return minus my total bad debt. Bam. So we've got my net return. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm going to have to go and calculate um, my constraints. Okay. Oop. Oop. Okay, so let's calculate our uh, constraints. Okay, so first is going to be that our total investment's less than or equal to $12 million. 
Okay, so I'm just going to sum up my total investment. Okay. Again, Excel has a sum, but I'm just going to go ahead and sum them all up. Okay. And I know that has to be, it's going to be less than or equal to 12, so I'm just going to type it in there so I remember. Um, so this is X4 and X5. Okay, so that was, is it farm and commercial? Yeah, farm and commercial. I guess I have the table already set up. So that's uh, farm and commercial. Okay, so farm plus commercial. Okay, that's farm plus, so farm and commercial. Okay, and that's going to be uh, greater than or equal to, I'll do 0 0.4 times my total investment. So 0 0.4 times our total investment, which is here, which is currently 15. Oh, so I forgot to do a 0 0.4 times total investment. Okay, good. Okay, so X3, that was uh, homes. Ah, so home, so that's equal to home type 3, so bam, so that's going to be 0.5 times the sum of the first three, okay, then my bad debt, So total bad debt, which is W. That's going to be less than or equal to 4%, 0 0.04 times my total investment. Okay, then last is my non-negativity, um, which I can just enforce um, in my solver. Okay, so I'm going to go Tools, and so Solver uh, in my case. And so my target cells, so my net return, which is B11, I want to maximize that by changing. Okay, so my variables are my amounts invested. Okay, subject to my constraints that my total investment has to be less than or equal to uh, 12. I just typed it in in this case. Then the second constraint is this x4 plus x5 is greater than or equal to what I calculated in the right cell. So this is greater than or equal to this. Then my left cell is greater than or equal to that. So then I have this is greater than or equal to this. And finally, left-hand side's less than or equal to that. And finally, this is less than or equal to that. Okay, then under options on mine, I'm going to click assume variables are non-negative rather than type up all of my constraints. So it says it was successful. Okay, let's keep the result and let's see what we find. So if I compare um, to the answer given in the problem statement, do do do, we find that. We have 7.2 million allocated to home loans, 4.8 allocated to commercial loans, 7.2. Ah, so my numbers are. So I have 7.2 allocated to home, 4.8 allocated to farm. So I have the same two numbers. And then the optimal net return, $996,480. So it looks like I have the correct amounts here. Um, but if I compare to the, the values in the solution, um, 
they're slightly off. So let me check a couple of things. Okay, so let's check our table. Okay, so that's right. And so it's personal car, home, farm, commercial. Okay, so that looks right. Looking at the debt ratio. Zero point one oh seven oh three oh five oh then this one's oh two okay so com oh, commercials oh two okay so that should be oh two okay and so let me try and solve one more time okay now I have home seven point two million. Commercial 4.8, got it. And total profit or net return 996,480 dollars. All right, so we got it. Okay, so um, here's my. Uh, I'll post my LibreOffice uh, spreadsheet, um, but hopefully you can follow along and solve in LibreOffice Calc or uh, Microsoft Excel, um, whatever your choice. All right, good luck.